County. Right now, dozens of people are hand counting ballots in the race for DeKalb County Commission District 2 after a candidate discovered a problem in the electronic tally. May 24th, DeKalb County, Georgia. Voters went to the polls to vote on a local county commissioner race in District 2 between Lauren Alexander, Marshall Orson, and Michelle Longspears. The end result from the Dominion machine showed Lauren Alexander received 34.67% of the vote, Marshall Orson receiving 41.35% of the vote, and Michelle Longspears receiving 23.98% of the vote. In Georgia, if one candidate doesn't get above 50% of the vote total, a runoff election is automatically held between the two top candidates, meaning Michelle Longspears was cut out of the race. But Michelle Longspears felt odd about the numbers, so she visited different precincts to double check the tallies. Guess what? She noticed that in some precincts she didn't receive a single vote. But how is that possible that a candidate with 24% of the vote total finds precincts where she didn't receive a single vote? While statistically alarming, the real surprise came when she realized there was not one vote cast for her in her own precinct, the same one where she and her husband voted for herself. Spears immediately demanded a hand recount of the results and got one. On June 1st, the results were released, and the difference between the Dominion machine count and the hand count was shocking. After the hand count, Lauren Alexander gained 355 votes, Orson lost 1,298 votes, and Spears actually gained 3,620 votes, making her the new runoff candidate. And here's the best part. When you add them all up, the hand count shows 2,810 votes more than the Dominion machines reported on the 24th. This is huge. In the small county commissioner's race, with 15,500 votes total, the Dominion machine tally was short by nearly 3,000 votes. What does that say about all the other races that were conducted on these very same machines? This is proof that the machines cannot be trusted. If Spears had not sounded the alarm, no one would have ever known.